Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm officially giving away a completely free Next.js Superbase Stripe boilerplate, but this particular boilerplate is with a slight difference. Claude Code will set up the entire system for you while you sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's talk about it. So basically, this the way this works is it's using a custom slash command inside Claude Code, which does things like gets Stripe CLI running, get Superbase CLI running, Docker CLI running, and anything else that you may need running. Then what it does is it generates all of the pricing, all of that stuff, and then when you actually finish, within five minutes, you will have a completely integrated Superbase Stripe boilerplate. Let's talk about it. Now, boilerplates usually cost $49 to $1,000, the ones that I've seen anyway. This one is completely free, and in my opinion, it's one of the better ones because it uses Claude code to set everything up for you. Now, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to have a 15-minute call with myself and my business partner, Rowan, because you have an MVP, or if you have a website or a business and you want SEO for it, more for dev stuff, we're kind of going down the dev route right now. If you have a project that you can't build yourselves and you want to build it and you want to get it done for a cheaper price because obviously we're augmented by AI and also much faster than traditional companies, then check out the link in the description of this video. There is a link for a free dev call and also for a free SEO strategy call. But yeah, check out the links, guys, if you're interested. Now, let's talk about the SaaS starter kit. Now, the way this works is it's all here. So you actually don't have to do anything. You don't have to read any of this crap. This is actually for Claude Code, not for you guys, basically. So let's copy this here. Let's go over to Terminal. Uh, we'll just check the crab real quick. Yeah, we're all good on the crab. No problem there, mate. Okay, so what you do is you do git clone and then paste the link and then put a full stop. And then you write Claude. And then watch how easy this is, guys. You will not find a quicker or easier way to do that. Actually, I've just done it incorrectly. So let's just make a new one. MKD real SAS. CD real SAS. You do actually have to read the readme, guys. I was slightly wrong there. The reason is, is we're using something called um, Deadjit or Djit. I don't know how to pronounce it. But basically what this does is it gives you a completely base level of the uh git repo basically right so just follow these commands these are the only three commands that you actually need to follow so cd my sas app and then we write claude and then you'll see that we can actually just say yes here put a slash and write setup and it, there's actually a custom slash command which is going to do the entire setup of this boilerplate for you while you take your hands off the wheel right now you can also use dangerously uh, skip permissions if you want if you if you don't want to have to press enter repeatedly, I probably am going to do that actually because it's kind of annoying. So let's just do that. So Claude dash dash dangerously skip permissions dash C. And then I'll just say continue here. I'm just going to make myself slightly smaller, guys, so that um, you can see what, everything that's going on here. So look, great. All prerequisites are ready. Docker is running and Superbase is already set up. Now let me proceed with the setup steps. So what does this do? This basically sets up an entire Next.js Superbase Stripe project for you in five minutes, right? And what does that mean? It means you can now build the SaaS MVP in 20 minutes, 30 minutes, right? Obviously, there's a bit of an exaggeration, but like literally, I will do this at one point. I'll make a video on this. I'll probably stream this tomorrow as well. I'm not going to stream today, by the way, guys. I'm just feeling a bit knackered. I'm not going to lie. I, just, I don't want to stream right now, but... I will be back to streaming tomorrow and I will do one of these builds tomorrow for sure. Now, I can't actually tell if I'm on um, Haiku right now. So yeah, basically you have to log in to Stripe. It doesn't seem to have got the message though. Okay, so if that happens guys, if it says I can't do whatever, just give it access. What All I said to it was, um, can't you just log into Stripe and I'll log in with my browser. That's now what's happened. So we're now inside the inside Stripe on my local running machine, right? That's how it works. And now it's creating the product IDs. What does that mean? It's creating the prices for you. You don't even have to worry about going into Stripe, manually adding prices, nothing, right? Now, obviously you will, you can adapt this to, you know, whatever. So right now it's set up to do specific things like the price, I don't know what the price is, but 
um, you can basically change the prices, right, that you want. You'd have to tell it. So you'd have to say, look, my basic price, my free price is this. My pro price monthly is this price, et cetera, et cetera. And then it will make it for you. Right now, it's just making the products. Now it's making the prices. I haven't given it any information here. So it will just make the prices according to, you know, logic or whatever. But if you want a specific price, then all you have to do is say at the beginning, um, can you make this price, you know, $20 a month? Okay, so for some reason, I'm not sure why it keeps saying that it can't do certain things. I'm just telling it that it can do certain things. Like I know for the fact that I've done this before and it's got the API keys itself. It absolutely doesn't need me to do it. So I just said that to it. I just said, please uh, do it yourself basically. So there we go. It's found our test mode API key. Perfect. And then what it does is it edits the .m and the .m.local, right? According to your environment variables and that will include the prices and the super base and everything that was just created and then one of the final things it does is it starts the stripe cli which if you don't know basically what that means is we now have a webhook listener on our local computer which means when we send a webhook to our sas it will pick it up right so what does that all that mean now bearing in mind i haven't paused this recording very much at all. I've probably only been recording for what, like seven minutes, I would guess. So what happens now? Let's go to localhost 3000. This is the wrong project. Okay, so this is just an example I did last night on stream. I'll just quickly wipe this. Um, this this isn't what you guys will get. It's just, it didn't start the, uh, but yeah, I mean, this was what I made in literally like 10 minutes though. But wait, we just need to get my actual project running real quick. So this is the one that I've just, done in the last seven minutes this is what the boilerplate looks like guess what you can already within seven minutes view pricing get monthly right press ok uh let's log in i guess uh so ham at ham.com don't worry it doesn't have to be a real email because for local development we just use this thing called mailjet which is this thing right here now we click login okay try again don't ask about that Okay, for some reason, the email isn't arriving. Uh, okay, I think I know what's happening here. I had a super base running from the project last night, same project, so it was confusing things. This should work. It just restarted super base. This won't be an issue for you guys. We are actually using super base auth, just so you know. Um, yeah, so that should work now. Let's just find out. Yeah, the email doesn't have to be real, just so you know as well. Um, but when you do change to live, you will have to make sure that Superbase is properly configured and stuff. I haven't done that part yet, but I will if people kind of want me to keep working on this project. Okay, guys, sorry. There was a little bug there where basically I had a project running from yesterday, so it was kind of messing things up. You guys won't have the same experience. Make sure if you use this twice that you stop everything that you were doing yesterday so that when you, or whenever, so that when you do it again, it works. So yeah, basically we can click log in here. This should log us in. Remember, we're only about seven minutes into the project if you take away the fact that I just kind of bugged out a little bit and made a mistake, not realizing that something was running. So now we have a free account. So you can build here, right? And if I go to upgrade, for example, get monthly, okay. This goes straight into Stripe. Remember, I didn't set any of this up. Claude Code set this up for me, right? Just imagine that for a second, guys. Watch this. Just just give me a second. Just watch. So I'm subscribing to the pro tier, right? What's going to happen is I'm now going to be a paid member in the database. You can take this and all you have to do is change the styling and then build something here in the dashboard. Okay, so this still says free plan. So uh, there's obviously some kind of error here. That's fine. I can fix that. Not a problem. By the time that you guys use this, this will be fixed. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. It's the same thing, guys. The, the reason it didn't work is because, again, I already have something running. You won't have that same problem. So let's just run through this again so that you guys can see it actually working. But I promise you, when you git clone or when you use DJIP to get this on your computers and you tell Claude Code to set it up, as long as you have nothing running on these ports already, it should just work immediately straight out of the box.
Okay, guys. So yeah, there was no issue. I didn't think there was. Basically, it wasn't. Um, it, 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 the uh, what's it called? The webhook thing. The Stripe listener wasn't running here, so I just went through a huge workaround to see what was going on. I didn't change any of the code. So what you download today will have exactly what I just used. Things to watch out for. Number one, you already have a project running, which will kind of skew because it has to be at localhost three thousand for everything to work. Number two, Superbase is already running. Number three, the Stripe webhook isn't running, the listener here. You need two background tasks here, right? You can do this manually as well if you don't want to fuck around with Claude. But if you don't know what you're doing, just make sure you have two background tasks running here. Number one is the actual project itself, npm run dev. And the second one is the Stripe webhook listener, right? So it needs to be listening for it to work. Obviously, that makes sense. I just... I was kind of panicking that something broke because I pushed an update yesterday. Nothing is broken here. Get this code. Make sure two things are running at the bottom and it will work. You can see here, I'm now a pro plan user. I can upgrade. I can manage my subscription. You can even cancel. All of that is already set up, right? So where do you go from here? Tomorrow, I'll release a video on this. But basically, this is behind a paywall. So all you need to do is put a SAS here. And then you just need to build a home page and you're done, right? Tomorrow, I'll have a timer. We'll see how quickly I can build a SaaS. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. This still took under half an hour, even with all of the problems that I had. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.